This is news at Asian Remo TV. I am Weyendi Dambrella. First headlines. Lagos State Government shuts Christian schools. Others broke. They being raped, robbed. Ilaro police students cry for help. CDC launches 500 million development fund. Ashake trails fans on Easter Sunday in Shagamo. On our top stories, Lagos State Government has ordered the immediate closure of all Christian schools within the state, pending further investigations into alleged sexual violence case involving students of the school which, which occurred in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The Commissioner for Education, Fala Shadi Adifishayo, disclosed this in a statement on Monday in reaction to the allegations making the rounds. The statements read in part. The attention of the Lagos State Government has been drawn to the alleged sexual violence case involving students of Christian schools which occurred in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. In view of the allegations, we are committed to ensuring that adequate medical and psychosocial support is provided. This is to reassure members of the public of the state government's commitment to safety and child protection, especially ensuring that all child-centered institutions within the state formulate and implement policies and systems that are compliant with the executive order legal state safeguarding and child protection program. We also use this medium to remind the general public that any person who engages in visual depiction of sexual explicit conduct involving a child commits an offense and is liable to custodial sentence of 14 years. This includes producing, distributing, receiving or possessing an image of child pornography. Meantime, all Christian schools within Lagos State are hereby closed pending further investigations. Still in our top stories, students of the Federal Polytechnic in Larogun State have appealed to the state command of the Nigerian police force as well as the Ogun state government to rescue them from what they describe as incident attack by government suspected to be armed robbers. The students, most of whom live off campus, say they are no longer safe due to the rate at which the robbers attack them at night. For them, going to bed at night has become very dangerous to fear of the armed robbers attacking them. It was gathered that most of the female students have been raped by the armed robbers who also make away with their phones, laptops, money and other valuable items including foodstuffs. One of the students who spoke under the condition of anonymity said, on Saturday night, this government struck again. They broke into our buildings to rob. They fired shots, broke the burglar proof to gain entrance into the building. It was learned that landlords in student dominated areas in Laru met on April 12 to take some decisions on the security exigencies in the city. At the end of the meeting, it was resolved that all community development associations in Laru must hire night guards and students must obtain tenancy forms. While begging the polytechnic to assist the police with a siren, movement is restricted from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. But the students said nothing has been done with the meetings with the landlords. A planned protest by the student was reportedly stopped by the management of the Federal Polytechnic Ilaro. However, in spite of the outcry on social media posts, the public relations officer of the Polytechnic Shola Biola said he was not aware of the incident. Still on our top stories, Omo Area Central Development Council, OACDC, launched 500 million development project appeal fund on Saturday during the 31st Omo Eleni Day. Chief hosted by, the, by His Excellency Prince Dakwa Biodong at the Palace of the Olomo of Omo, His Royal Majesty Engineer M.O. Onsoro. OACDC National Chairman Mr. Akim Shegun Asan stated that the 500 million is a is a development fund meant for the completion of the second phase of the multipurpose Olong Palace complex, feeder roads, sinking of boreholes in all the 17 itunes in the community and provision of basic amenities. His Excellency, Otumbag Benga Daniel, was also there to grace the event as an Omu indigen. While donating the sum of 2.5 million to the launching of the appeal project, he mentioned that he had recently commissioned the charity and political movement, the Gateway Front Foundation and Gateway Movement Secretariat at Omo Ajoshi, 
to expand the frontiers of economic opportunities and improvement of living conditions for people in the Ogun State East Senatorial District. He also said that the proud history of Omo is tied to him as is tied to him like an umbilical cord. The launching of the 500 million development project appeal fund witnessed the pre presence of Nigerian personalities residing within Omo and in the diaspora. Various branches of OACDC, social clubs, trading groups and industries all contributed their quota to the successful launching and celebration of the 31st Eleni Day. Finally on entertainment, Ahmed Olalade Ashake, popularly known as Ashake, thrilled fans during a live performance held at BLFA Hotel in Kenere Morgan State on Easter Sunday. At the event which started at 6 p.m., Ashake put fans on their toes with a scintillating performance as he churned out his hit tracks which include Omope, Trabaye, Subba, among others. The buzzing singer and dancer is signed to YBNL record label. And that's it on the news at 8 on Remo TV. For more news updates, you can follow us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram at Official Remo TV. You can also visit our website, www.remotv.com.ng. I am Uyeri Damlola. Good night.